Welcome to the advice show media with the common sense approach. So there was a video that we posted on our Facebook page. If you haven't checked out the Facebook page, it's uh, Facebook uh, slash the advice show. And it was of this mother that's having an incestuous relationship with her son. Very, very sick puppy. But this woman is giving an interview and I want you to watch how this woman is speaking like it's something normal and so trying to speak in a romanticized way to describe, you know, her evil acts that she's doing. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Well, I told him it was, um, I was, at first I told Carlos that um, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how you react to this. I'm your mom and you're my son and I am falling in love with him. He said, are you really? I said, yes, I am. He said, you know what? I was scared to let you know, too. I am, too. He was, too, falling in love with me, with his mom. And I was falling in love with my son. And then uh, we ended up talking, and we took off to the park. And we ended up asked him, will you ever date your mom? And he said, will you date your son? I said, honest truth, yes, I would. Because 19 years, you're the best thing that ever happened to me, and I really want to be with you the rest of my life. Now, I really want to be with them. It's kind of hard right now, but I don't care what people say because we, we're going through a lot right now. We try to keep it a secret, but we couldn't do it no more because, you know, my other kids found out. At first, they didn't like it. Then they started liking it. They, they're, uh, they're accepting it. And my mom, my dad, my brothers, oh, my, my family's accepting it now. This girl found out. So it's cross street for me. And... There's a big old, rest, uh, big old fight started, and she came. She called me. She told my son Joseph something, and let me know across the street. And she told me I better watch my back, cause that's, I'm being incest. I'm not being incest. And she was outside cussing me out, so I went and go get everybody at my house. And she got her family. We got stabbed, beaten up, jumped. Ambulance showed up. It was me, Carlos, and the kid's uncle got stabbed because the incest. Because she made a big deal out of all of this. So we went to the hospital. We got stitches. Came back home. And on that side, her family didn't get arrested. At all. So I don't know why nobody didn't get arrested at the time. So we came back home. Took a shower. The cops took, you know, first the cops at the hospital. The cops took pictures of our, where we got cut, sliced. And uh, after that, we came home. Took a shower and stuff. Then we sat back and when I broke down crying, I told Carlos, what we're going to do is going to hit all over, all over the world. I said, there ain't no way I can leave you. And he said, don't worry. I'm going to still be with you, don't matter, through thick and thin. And that's what we're going through right now. Through the thick. <laughs> and there, I'm going to still be with him. I have to. I, I am going to have to. Because there ain't no, if, it, if I get out of prison, and if he gets, if he don't get sentenced, if he, if I get in prison, if I get out, I will move out of Clovis and I will get a state that will accept us in it. <laughs> it's, it's, we have, I've been going through a lot on the streets and the public. And it's kind of hard because uh, it's public record here in Clovis. They can find out where I live and stuff. And <laughs> I, this is going through a lot. And I really can't go to the store, I can't go public, I can't see my other kids, I can't see him. They call me, um, I'm, I'm sick, I'm incest. And it hurts a lot, and you know what I mean? It, 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 mess with, it messes with my mind a lot. They just, the other moms don't understand they're not going through what I'm going through it'd be different if they were it's I just I have like I said I didn't raise them for 19 years it feels like a new person and my my love like came back like in my life I've been waiting for all these years it feels like like he's my man and he does you know what I mean I call him sometimes I call him Hinojito as that means son in English in English and he sometimes, once in a while, he calls me mom. You know what I mean? We, we know, we, it don't, it don't get to him or get to me. Actually, I feel like more than his lover. Because it got so deep. And it feels kind of, at first, at first kind of felt weird, but now it don't feel weird at all to me because I love him so much. The guy, 19 years old, 
all the women that you could be fooling with and talking to at 19 and you're going to fool with your mother. This stuff is nasty. This stuff is sick. And he's sitting up there Googling iron at his mama. Like it's something normal. It's right to do. Now, of course they got charged and they're waiting a court date, but watch these people come up with, well, you know, I mean, they're consenting adults and, you know, it's maybe it's their orientation. That's what they like. And it's going to be a bunch of people eventually maybe come out and say they look just like that, too. They support them and all this other crap. Then they probably going to try to get some sort of political movement saying that it's just a orientation. It should be legal. And you're discriminating against people that want to commit incest. I'm not surprised anymore. Of anything happening in America because we have no moral compass in this nation at all. We sit up here and watch people get killed. It don't matter if you think a person is human or not. We watch people get killed constantly. We justify it. We think it's okay. Um, we sit up here and have a president like President Obama worrying more about uh, bathrooms and worrying about the education of our children. Uh, we have all kinds of things that's going on in this nation that's just not even right. It's going to be next, what, people going to food animals, and you're going to say that should be orientation. I mean, what what's next? It doesn't bother me to talk about these things. Because most people are really thinking what I'm saying right now, and they're sick and tired of it. A lot of people are tired of the public school system. A lot of parents want to homeschool and pull their kids out uh, and put them in private school. I mean, we have all this evil stuff just going on just in general in this nation. Um, no restraint on what you say. Anything goes on television. Um, all kind of things just wrong. And yet this just is another story just to prove the morality level in America, which is really in the toilet uh, with a bunch of feces in it. And when you have things going on like this and it's being literally romanticized by the way this woman is talking, you wonder why we are in a cesspool and just basically on the doorstep of a third world country. Hit me up in the comments, use the commentaries, subscribe.